Hi you guys, it's Melanie and welcome back to Living Luxuriously for Less where we celebrate, decorate, and enjoy everyday life for less. Speaking of celebrating and decorating you guys, these are the white Shivari chairs that I scored last summer for just $5. They look absolutely amazing and all I had to do was touch them up with a little white spray paint. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you guys how we decorated for our scholarship banquet. Um, this is kind of the first table without adding all of the layers, just very simple. The chargers, the cutlery, um, the table linen, and the chairs and glasses. So that's pretty much all I had on it at this time. I did mix and match the chargers. A lot of times you guys ask me about mixing and matching in the same room. I love it. I do it all the time. And so this is just an example of how I use the scallop chargers, um, also the gold beaded chargers, and I used another kind of like a plain gold charger as well. Um, also on this wall, I got this shimmer wall from House of Party. I will leave a link to it down below. I absolutely love it. And I love just doing the layers on the shimmer wall now. So for this one, I did two rows of white, three rows of the white gold, and then two rows of the black. Now, I love the quality for the shimmer walls at House of Party, um, and often they do run discounts and things of that nature. So again, I will leave that link down below so that you guys can check it out, but love it. Okay, so moving on, this is kind of how the other tables look. This is the gold charger that I was telling you guys about that I also used in the same room. So even though I had five different tables, I ended up using three different four different chargers total. So only two tables, um, well, two of the tables had the same charger. So I just thought that was a pretty cool, you know, way to kind of design the space and add interest and texture uh, without going overboard. And then I also used some shimmer up in the ceiling just to add a little bit of interest and texture as well. Now, I know you guys are gonna ask me about the centerpiece. Um, I will tell you guys that I bought it from a local wholesaler and when I bought these, they were just like <laughs> uh, for a fraction of the price that they are selling for now. So it has just been insane. Once I source a more affordable option, I will link that for you guys down in the description box below so that you can check it out as well. Now, I started with these triangular centerpieces because they kind of way reminded me of like, you know, school. I don't know why, but I kind of like that. Um, and then... I thought they meshed well with the gold on the backdrop that you see here. And I was like, you know what, let me just kind of play with metals in this room. And then I also had the black, you guys know I have this black like cake stand that I also found on Facebook Marketplace. And this is where I was going to put all of the desserts. I love using this uh, for desserts. This is not a cake stand. This is actually an J. So I use the J to place all of my cake stands on it. Uh, and I just love like doing it this way because it really saves a lot of space. And so this is kind of what the room looks like from every angle. I did mix the black and white linens, use white chairs. I should have used some covers underneath the white linens here, but I left them and I just didn't feel like going back and redoing it um, at that time. So just know that when you're using the white sequins, just put an extra layer a tablecloth underneath. Um, also, this is the backdrop that we use to place like all of the graduates on, but I wanted to do a DIY to kind of go with that whole spiel. And so we're going to hop into that in just a moment. Okay, so this video is not sponsored by Cricut, but this is just a testament um, to uh, if you are in the event planning or event design arena. This is why I love Cricut, okay? Not a sponsor video, but this is just a testament as to how much I use them. I'm able to design on my phone, which is super easy, super quick for me to do. I wanted to DIY a centerpiece for graduation using some books from the Dollar Tree. I wanted to really give it an upgraded look. And I was looking for a lot of centerpiece ideas for graduation. Could not find any centerpiece ideas pretty much anywhere for graduation 2023 or beyond. So if you guys are watching this later, this video is still good. Just change out the year each year. So I used my Cricut um, Explorer 3 in order to create this project. I did use the Smart Vinyl uh, and you'll see why in just a moment. 
pretty, pretty simple to do. Again, I did all of the designing on my phone. I just set it up and it started cutting. You follow the prompt, super easy to use. And then once you remove the paper, you, you know, adhere the vinyl using transfer tape and the end project is absolutely gorgeous. So with this DIY centerpiece, I purchased some books from the Dollar Tree. Just some very simple books from the Dollar Tree. I looked at the spine of them to make sure that they were the colors that I was looking for. So in this particular situation, I was looking for black and white. I ended up spray painting the sides of the book, the spines to cover up the existing letters. And then I used my Cricut to cut out the actual letters that I wanted. So for, the, for example, on this black book, I think the existing letters were like blue or maybe gold, I'm not sure, but I spray painted the bind of the book um, go, uh, black so that these gold letters on my Cricut would stand out. And so even though I could kind of still see what the original title was, I knew that it was go away. Once I adhered the vinyl on my Cricut on the letters, I'm sorry that this is out of focus, but you guys get the whole point. You get the gist of what I'm doing. And then I removed it off. This is the Cricut transfer tape that I'm using. I removed it off. I would recommend the first thing is like measuring the bind, uh, the side that you're going to be the spine of the book. Um, mine was like an inch, but I decided to go an inch and a quarter, which is a little bit too big. The one that's in the background was actually an inch and it was perfect. So measure your spine. And then once you measure your spine, I think I was saying bind before, but your spine, once you measure your spine, you put it in place and it just turns out so cute. So I did a congrats guide and then cl class of 2023, you can remove the three next year and put a four because this is removable vinyl. You can remove all of it and put names. You can do kind of whatever you want to do there. And so once I put that in place, I knew that I wanted to add it to my existing collection um, or uh, my existing centerpiece. And so here's the collection of all of the centerpieces. I used a total of 15 books in all. I did get them all from the Dollar Tree. This is definitely something you can DIY using most of your materials from Dollar Tree. So again, that this is the, what the, fellowship hall look like before for our community graduation you see the tables are cute but they're not like complete right I think they just need a little bit more it doesn't really say graduation yet and so I think when we add in these additional elements you'll see that it starts to say graduation now these little cute favor boxes I got these from Amazon I will link that live down in the description box below but they are so super cute and I just absolutely love them. I ended up putting them on at each place setting. And then I added in flowers on the gold centerpiece. And then I added the books along with the graduation hat. These graduation hats you can now find at Dollar Tree um, as well as Hobby Lobby. At Hobby Lobby, they're $1.99. At the Dollar Tree, they are $1.25. And these are perfect for your DIY centerpiece. And instead of napkins, I just put the little graduation caps or favor boxes at each place setting because this was a little bit more informal and the napkins were on the bar. So I really, really love the way that this turned out. I also used, got the acrylic numbers from the uh, Amazon as well. And so I will leave that link down below and you can also get your cutlery from Amazon. I absolutely, absolutely love these numbers. You know, I use those at my husband's 40th birthday party as well. If you haven't seen it, I'll link that video here for you guys to go and check it out. So I'm going to give you guys just a um, tour of the space. Let me know your favorite aspect of the design. And can you see the small subtle differences that um, were made when I added in the books with the graduation caps, the flowers, and um, the little pop of, you know, color in the greenery? Just let me know um, what differences really stood out to you guys before and after the changes were made.
here again it's the edder j with the cake stands on it i like to preset all of this before the baker arrives so that when they arrive they're just ready to design the space and put all the treats in place and i absolutely love the way that it turned out we had a taco bar um and we also had like baked potatoes so we had like pulled pork they can make a sandwich they can do it with a potato they could do it on a taco bar super 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 nice here are all the desserts that are in place i want to give a shout out to my girl rachel at designer desserts by rachel k formerly hot mama's bakery she always knock it out of the park i also use tiered trays on the um, buffet so that we could get more things on the buffet and then a huge shout out to my boy trey at trey balloon bars um, for the marquee letters so it turned out absolutely incredible if you guys are interested in marquee letters i will leave his facebook page down below if you guys want to order some um and see if he can hook you up with some marquee letters but i just think it all turned out so amazing i was so happy with the diy centerpiece that i created using um, books from the dollar tree this is definitely something that you can emulate yourself on a budget I just absolutely love it. And then I also use some signs outside of our church that just said, Congratulate, we're so proud of class 2023. And it was just a great place to put those signs as everybody was walking in. Such a cool, you know, place to take photos and things of that nature. I got that entire graduation kit on Amazon, and I will leave that down in the description box below. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this DIY graduation centerpiece and find a creative way to put your own spin on it. I will link everything again down in the description box below. Um, the Amazon lives that I did showcasing all of these products. I appreciate all of your love and your unwavering support. If you are interested in becoming an event planner or an event designer, I do offer training and classes both in person and online. Um, I will leave the link down below. It is luxacademy.online. Sign up today. We have um, hands-on classes coming up in July. We have them pretty much every quarter. Um, at least once a quarter. So definitely check out our schedule. It is constantly changing. We're adding new things and I'm so excited to teach and mentor you guys um, on your path to becoming a professional event designer or event planner. So thank you guys so much again for watching. Until next time, it's Melanie with Living Luxuriously for Less. Cheers!